Thank you very much, uh, Congressman Garamendi, for um, helping to raise awareness about the pressing need to change the way the federal government uh, deals with funding wildfire response and prevention. Um, San Diegans well know uh, the effect of uh, devastating effect of wildfires in 2003 and 2007. We had massive, massive loss of property um, and dislocations in Scripps Ranch, Tierra Santa, uh, Ranch Bernardo, and Poway. And right now as I'm speaking, and you mentioned this as well, um, firefighters in Yosemite National Park continue to battle a wildfire that's burned more than 2,600 acres and required 120 firefighters and 11 aircraft to combat. Uh, it's no secret in addition that California is facing a prolonged drought that places us at increased risk for wildfires. So we're in the midst of what's expected to be one of the longest and hardest wildfire seasons in recent memory, certainly in any of our memories. Uh, wildfires are extremely expensive for states and localities to fight, and there's an urgent need for Congress to pass a solution that funds firefighting without stealing from prevention, which is a crazy thing to do. I think we all acknowledge that. So earlier this summer, as you mentioned, I led the discharge petition with 196 signers to demand a vote on the Wildfire Disaster Funding Act of 2014. That bill has real bipartisan support uh, in both the House and the Senate. 71 Democrats and 60 Republicans have co-sponsored in the House. And that's very unusual around here. Um, and was, included, was also included by the President in his budget request. So you have both, parts of, both parties in the House and the President of the United States all on the same page on this issue. Uh, it seems like an area where we, well, we ought to be able to make some progress. We ought to have a vote. The bill allows firefighting agencies to access funds from the Natural Disaster Contingency Fund while fighting catastrophic fires, not take money from prevention. Because what, of course, does, that does is it makes the following year's fires even more severe and even more costly and dangerous. So it's fiscally responsible to treat wildfires like the natural disasters that they are like an earthquake or a flood or a hurricane. Instead of stealing funds from prevention efforts to pay for immediate response, we should be adequately funding both. So I join my colleagues here tonight to call on the speaker to bring this truly bipartisan bill to a vote immediately so that fire-prone regions like um, the two we're dealing with in California, but mine in San Diego, don't suffer from Washington's dysfunction. Uh, and um, ladies and gentlemen, we started this fire season this year in May. Uh, we're used to having fire seasons. It's natural to have fire seasons in September or October. But the fact that we started in May just underscores what we're up against. We do not want to leave uh, uh, for um, our October election activities uh, without having dealt with this with, and exposing these communities to risk. So um, I, I thank my colleague, Mr. Garamendi, for helping to raise awareness about this. Uh, and thank you for your committing, co continued commitment and leadership on the issue. And we'll look forward to bringing it home. Uh, thank you.